Please do not perform any of the stunts that we perform here on Science Time. We are what you call amateurs. Hi, I'm Professor Ben, and today in Science Time, we're going to have a very special guest, Dry Eyes, and see all the fun you can do with it. As example, Hi, I'm Professor James, and today, you're probably asking, why do I have these huge oven gloves on? No, we're not baking turkeys today. Instead, it's quite the opposite. We got a very chilly friend. His name is Dry Ice. And yes, for those who don't know what my friend, Mr. Dry Ice, is, he's basically frozen carbon dioxide, which... It's so cold that if I wasn't wearing these, now my hands would be, like, falling off because it's so cold. It's at negative 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit. I got that one from Wikipedia. So, if you thought the ice special was going to get cold, <laughs> that wasn't even close. Watch this. Once you have all your supplies, get safety goggles. And also, for this case, these oversized oven gloves. Now, for the first experiment with our dry ice, we will be seeing the effects of putting it in boiling water and detergent. I heard it's too bubbly. So we hit it with a hammer. Watch out, Ben. We have a sufficient piece. That's pretty cold. And also, this is pretty cool that we just found out. You take the boiling water and just pour it right on, on there. And you can touch it. Okay. Not harmful. So, we have this clear Pyrex glass. Fill it with boiling water. Add some detergent. Until it's nice and blue like grape juice. Then, take your piece of dry ice. No, it is not boiling. It is actually... <coughs> oh, that, that doesn't taste nice. It's actually bubbling because... The, the dry ice is so cold, mixed with the boiling water that is back probably about 250 degrees difference. <coughs> it makes it bubble. I recommend you to do this with adult supervision. My mom is outside the door approximately 50 feet away, so we are safe. Welcome back to Science Time. I'm Professor James. And I'm Professor Ben. And in this part of the dry ice special, we'll be placing random household liquids in this Pyrex clear jar. Looks familiar from the first thing. And then we will be placing dry ice in them and seeing what happens to the liquid. Ooh. Okay. First off, we have <coughs> low fat all-natural grade A milk. So, we unscrew it, put some milk in there, and then place the dry ice in. Oh, if you look closely, the bubbles are growing. And if you poke a bubble, out comes dry ice. Ooh, it's all milky. Like. It looks like semen. Now, in this experiment, we're looking at a dry ice ball. What we have done is took in this water bottle, emptied out the water, put in a whole bunch of little dry tablets, and about to add some boiling water. And once we do that, we'll have an instant reaction. We put the cap on and run. Keep it on that fence! How much recording time do we have left? 
58 minutes. Ah! Whoa. Oh! It's a Nike. Okay, here's our uh, final results. This sound like a gunshot. We gotta get out of here before the cops come. Cut, cut the camera, cut the camera. For the longest time, I have always wanted to use this one liquid in something to torture Ben with. But no. Message. Okay, I've been wanting to use soy sauce. It smells like crap, but it is too. So, here we go. Looks like that sub that they spit out when they have tobacco chew. Bad plate. Oh, oh, you want to throw up and you smell it. it looks like what comes out of my dog's butt when he. Just hit a bathroom sometimes. <coughs> oh! 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 I definitely recommend you not to try this at home. Oh! Oh! <coughs> Get rid of this now. Oh! Oh! It looks like poo. Okay. Well, in this final segment of science time, we're just gonna have a bit of fun with our uh, dry eyes. So. Here we go. We're putting some dry ice in our toilet. What's the poltergeist? Now we're putting it in our sink. Here it is in our pool. Here we go. It's like a hot tub. <laughs>